Hey guys, Frozen Nexus here. Uh, this is my first video. I originally wanted to start a DayZ series because not many big YouTubers are playing the game anymore. Many of them got their start or started playing the game and just have since moved on. You know, the game's about four years old now. I've been playing it since 2012 myself. Uh, so I just wanted to make an updated uh, tutorial on how to download Overpock, more or less a Part Zero series, or Part Zero, I guess, you know, however you want to put it. So, um, let's get right into it. Uh, first, you know, you're obviously going to need Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Uh, if you didn't know that much, you know, well, now you do, and I'm sure you know how to install a Steam game. You know, if not, you'd need to seek fucking medical attention. You just click install and finish, and that's all you gotta do. After you've done that, you're gonna wanna go to daisylauncher.com. I'll put the link in the description. Just click download now, you know. Install the EXE. It's a pretty simple process. Um, after you've installed the EXE, you're going to open it up and you're going to uh, have a screen similar to this. Just don't worry about this. I've never used this. If you end up using it, I mean, you're probably smarter than I am. Uh, just go over to malls, or malls, mods. Man, I can't talk, you know. Nervous about recording my first video. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, this is uh, the base DayZ mod. You're going to need this. After you've downloaded this, uh, you can actually just play vanilla DayZ right away, but I'm making an Overpock tutorial, so you're going to need Epoch and Overwatch. Um, the thing about Overwatch is it downloads from, it's either a German or a Danish server, and it's almost 3 gigabytes, so this one might take a while. Other than that, it's, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, once they've downloaded, they automatically install for you. Uh, you can just go in here. Uh, I recommend playing on CCG servers. They have uh, three European servers and one United States server. So no matter where you live, you know, there's servers that you can play on. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for installing it. But as you know, uh, by the title of the video, I'm also going to show how to uh, improve your frames or get rid of lag spikes in a way. Um, so first of all, you want to go to settings. And in additional parameters, I'll have this in the description, you want to add this, this uh, sets your CPU count and maximum or minimum amount of RAM, so it allocates some RAM for DayZ. The only thing you need to change about this is the amount of threads your processor has. I have eight theoretical threads and four cores, so that means I have an eight there. Uh, some people might have a 12 or a four, you know, it's all depend on your computer. If you don't know, uh, you're going to want to download this program, CPU-Z. I'll boot it up for you. Um, you can get it from this website right here. Again, links will be in the description. I'm sure you can figure out how to install that as well. You know, you just download it, click install. Uh, once you've done that and run the program, it'll tell you how many threads you have for your processor. Uh, after you've done that, there's one last thing you can do to speed up your DayZ, or Arma 2 in general, really. Um, you're going to go into Documents, Arma 2, and you'll see an Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. It'll say uh, dot, uh, .config. Uh, just open this with Notepad. Uh, once you get in here, your GPU max frames ahead is going to say 1000. You're going to want to go ahead and just uh, delete the zeros, make that a 1, file save, and there you go. You've pretty much optimized Arma the best way you can. Uh, there's not really much else you can do. Um, after that, uh, you just Go ahead into US, I'm in the US, so at least, uh, so I would just click this and yeah, it'll launch days, well, you have, for me at least, I have to go into Steam, click OK, and well, then it'll launch DayZ. Um, other than that, uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you a uh, series on me playing DayZ soon. I had to defragment my drive because I was only getting uh, 30 or 40 frames while playing the game and about 20 to 30 while recording. And that's just not a good recording, you know, you need at least 30 frames, if not 45, to record, so hopefully after I defragment my hard drive, I'll be able to do it, but other than that, uh, see you guys later, thanks for watching, subscribe and like if you, you know, liked it, if not, you know, tell me to go fuck off, whatever you want, you know, just feel free, peace.